Turn it off. I'm not turning it off, and you don't touch me again. What is your name? William. What? Williams? Yeah. And what's your name? Cartwright. Cartwright? Come on. Why it says S. Bell? Why, why are you lying? Why are you lying about your name? Why are you lying? Sir, don't talk to me like that. Get out of here. Why are you lying? Here. Stop pushing me out the building. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the building. You're pressing charges against him, correct? Correct. I want to press charges against both of the officers that threw me down the steps. They threw you down the steps. I have it on video. You have it on video? That is correct. You don't remember you and another officer, constable, pushed me down the stairs right over there? No. You don't remember that? No. You said you don't remember. I want to show you the video. I have it pulled up here. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, stop. Doing too much, sir. I'm not doing too much. Is it harassment? No, it's not. Arrest me if it's harassment. I'm good right here, sir. No, you gonna step off. No, I'm not. You're not gonna assault me twice. I promise you that. I will defend myself. Oh. Yeah. When an internal affairs or um, investigation is completed, is it not procedure to contact the complainant with the findings, or is that procedure here? Or? I have no comment. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the City Hall here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. If you haven't seen the original Baton Rouge City Hall video, I highly suggest you go watch it. I will leave it in the description below. Despicable actions by the constable's office here, Constable Bell and Constable Wright, who lied about their names, which shows a consciousness of guilt, assaulted me to the point where I had to go to an urgent care and violated my constitutional rights. There was no accountability. I went everywhere in Louisiana, in Baton Rouge Parish, to try and get some accountability. The Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, the constables themselves, no one would prosecute and arrest the assailants because they're law enforcement, which we see so much and is despicable. But we are back here to follow up to see what's going on with that internal affairs report and see if we can get some accountability here. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we just arrived at the Baton Rouge City Constable's office, definitely bringing back some serious memories. Immediately greeted with our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Let's see if we can get some assistance here. Of course, it's locked to the public. Yes, is there a supervisor I could speak to, please? Or someone from Internal Affairs? Everyone is where? Everyone is where? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, ma'am. Yes, what'd you say? You're breaking up. Where where can I speak to supervisor or internal affairs, ma'am? Everyone is out of the office at a memorial service. Memorial service. Yes. Okay. So no one's here no supervisors here or or anyone from internal affairs. Do you know when they'll be back? I, whenever the memorial service begins, I don't know. I can't tell you the time because it's a police officer memorial service, so I don't know. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Hey, how are you? You remember me? You don't remember me? You're not in internal affairs anymore? I thought you were internal affairs. No, my brother's in internal affairs. Your brother? Yeah. You don't remember you and another officer? Constable, push me down the stairs right over there. No. You don't remember that? No. Because I was recording? No. Yeah. It was you. No. Yes, it was. You lied about your name? No. Yeah. You still record no. Yeah, yeah, still hey, recording. I don't care. Record me. I'm Mr. Sharper. Nice to be recording. What are you recording for? Let me call you. We call yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, dude. Record. That's your right. That's right. Are you, are, do you work for the public? Huh? Do you work for the public? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So is that your personal phone or work phone? I don't have a personal phone. Oh, you don't have a personal phone? Oh, so I can FOIA request the video that you're about to take of me. Like a FOIA request? You know what that is? Freedom of Information Act. So anything you do with that phone would be subject to FOIA. Okay. Okay, just letting you know. 
Constable Wright. Yeah, I am me. Yeah, you lied about your name. Want me to show you the video? I mean, it's you. It's a spitting image of you. Really? Yeah, you want to see it? I got it right here. I could pull it up if you want. Yeah, I, I, I think you need to see it. Didn't you work for Internal Affairs? You did. Uh, yeah, babe. Can you go and leave me downstairs? Yeah. Wait, well, I ain't got nobody else. I don't even know. Because I was peaked. All right, all right. Public. How you guys doing today? Uh, Look, that's you, right? Okay, keep walking. Okay. Okay. Look, this is you. Look. Sir, this is you. Please, please stop. Sir, this is you. Okay, you're, you got to stop Excuse now. me. Sir, Constable Wright, look. You said you don't remember. I want to show you the video. I have it pulled up here. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, stop. You're doing too much, sir. I'm not doing too much. Is it harassment? No, it's not. Arrest me if it's harassment. This is holding government officials accountable. Constable Wright, why are you lying about your name? Look. Look what you did. Look what you were responsible for, Constable Wright. Hey! Look, that's not you? Constable Wright, that's not you. Why are you running? That's 100% him. What a bold-faced liar he is. He didn't even want to take a look at the video because he knew. Now let me ask all of you watching. That's the same guy, isn't it? Isn't that the same guy that assaulted me? All right, so we're gonna do another audit on every single department here in the city hall since there are no supervisors or internal affairs constables to speak with. We'll just wait around for them to come back, and if they don't, we'll just have to come back another day. But I promise you, we will hold them accountable. Hello, sir. How are you? All right. Uh, can I ask you a quick question? No, I'm, I'm getting a phone meeting right now. A meeting? You work for the constable's office? Yes. Are you a supervisor? No. I'm an administrator. You're an administrator? Yes. How do I speak to someone from Internal Affairs? No one will speak to me, sir. Be, uh, you, have to, you can't come in here, sir. No one will speak to me, sir. This is, uh, you know, you see how we have to open it over our key to get in there. You go through the front side. Yeah. Go through the who do, I, who do I speak to as far as the supervisor, sir? Go to ask our deputy uh, honorary. Tell honorary. him you want to speak to a supervisor. So go upstairs. No, no, not a deputy supervisor, a constable supervisor. Because That's what I'm saying. He's a deputy. He would, you know, call a supervisor for you. Okay. For you to talk to him. Just go they, up. They said that there is no supervisor here. But because we all had a meeting. All of them Memorial should be coming service, in Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll, yeah. Wait for, I'll wait for a supervisor, somebody from I, Internal oh. Affairs. Hello, sir. Good to see you again. How you doing, sir? I'm not doing okay because I haven't heard back from Internal Affairs, and it's been over a year now, and I haven't, I haven't been having a chance to come back, but I haven't been contacted in Internal Affairs. Remember we filed the Internal Affairs complaint together mm-hmm. last year? I haven't heard back from Internal Affairs Why on don't anything. Why around the front and come back down Okay, so I would just like to know the status of the, I saw the officer upstairs again, and I just wanted to see the status of the internal affairs investigation, do a FOIA request for the documents so I can read the, the report myself. I'll come around, yeah, no problem. So that is the supervisor who took my complaint in the first place against the Baton Rouge constables who assaulted me. He was pretty cordial with me last time, and he seems like he's going to be pretty cordial with me this time. You know, he did speak to me. He took my complaint for internal affairs. Unfortunately, one of the officers is from internal affairs. doesn't look like it anymore. It doesn't say internal affairs on it, on his shirt. It says special ops. So maybe he got a promotion since then, which would be completely ridiculous, but about right for what's going on here. We'll go around and speak to... I believe he's a captain. We'll go around and speak to him soon. Hey. Hey. Right there. Sure, yeah, no problem. What you got? Um, so I just basically wanted to speak to you in regards to the internal affairs complaint that you helped me file uh, back in February of last year. That investigation was completed and all that we received was turned over to the parish.
parish attorney office, and that's what you're going to have to speak to. So you're, you're saying that the investigation was completed? Yes. And the information in the report all turned over to the parish attorney. was turned over to the parish attorney. Yes. Um, and they're in this building? Yes, they are. Um, um, can I just get your name and title? I forgot. I'm sort of Deputy Chief. Deputy Chief, yes. right. Deputy Chief. I thought you were a captain for some reason. And then I also spoke that day. Remember, we spoke with um, the actual constable. Is she yes. still the... She's, she's, she's the constable, but she's not in there. Okay. Yeah, no, I just... Is she elected official, right? Correct. Okay, and she's still serving her term? Yes. Okay. Um, and Deputy Chief, so how do I go about... You are the custodian of the records for that internal affairs... Um, it was turned all over to the parish attorney. Our investigation was turned over to them. The parish attorney is what floor? The third floor? Third floor. So you no longer are uh, possession of those records? Okay, because I, I wanted to do a Freedom of Information Act request for mm -hmm. those documents. You can do it through them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So that's where I'll go talk to. And since she was the complaint, you may not have to do that. Okay, maybe I could just get them, yeah. Correct. Because I would like to read over the report and the findings and everything. Okay. Okay? Thank you, Deputy Chief. I appreciate your time. Yes, I, I just would like to say one more thing. Um, you know, you've been very professional and cordial with me since uh, we first had that unfortunate contact. Um, and you treated me with nothing but respect, and I appreciate that. But I will say, you are the deputy chief, so you do hold a, you know, a high position in the constable's office. Um, none of your other constables, the officers here, treated me with any sort of respect. They ran away from me. Um, when I dealt with you last time, I was very professional. I thought with you, and you know, I didn't. We both was. Yes, exactly. So you know, I, I would just say, as the deputy chief, that your officers here haven't been professional at all. They just run away from me, and I'm trying to ask for help and they don't they don't help me at all they just run away and, and close doors on me and and hide so i think that's really unprofessional of a law enforcement officer to you know treat a member of the public that way so i just wanted to bring that to your attention well I'm, and i'm pretty sure me and constable williams will address some of those situations. yeah because it, it's not a good look for your you know for your department here for the public to see that you know it's i understand some people might not like me here but um you know you should always treat the member i treat people with respect you know i don't the person who assaulted me was right upstairs and I came face to face with him and I treated him with respect as, as well. I think everybody should be treated with respect and especially public servants to members of the public that they serve. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, Deputy Chief. You have a great day, okay? I'm gonna go head over to the parish attorney. It's gonna be on the third floor. Third floor. Third, let, let me go to Okay, thank you, I appreciate that. That's the ninth floor. Ninth floor. Yes. And, and, and one more question for you is, when an internal affairs or um, investigation is completed, is it not procedure to contact the complainant with the findings, or is that procedure here? Or? I have no comment on that, son. What we did, we went by the policy. Yeah. We completed our internal affairs investigation and turned it over to the council. I mean, to the parish attorney. So it, it's not your policy to notify the complainant of internal affairs investigation? It's not. Okay. Deputy Chief, have a great day, okay? All right, so on the ninth floor here, we have the Office of the Parish Attorney. Let's see if we could speak to someone here. Yes, sir. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Um, I was sent up here by the Deputy Chief of the Constables. Uh, they conducted an internal affairs investigation last year. Um, I was assaulted by two constables right here at City Hall, at the steps of City Hall, and my constitutional rights were violated. So I submitted a, a formal internal affairs complaint. Um, no one ever reached back to me. Uh, so I finally got a chance to come back here, and the deputy chief tells me that the file has been turned over to the parish attorney's office. So he, t he advised me to come up here and speak to someone to see how I go about obtaining that file for the okay, internal thank affairs. Thank you. Someone to come help you. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Um, I was set up here by the deputy chief of the constable's office. Um, I filed an internal affairs complaint with them uh, last year, and uh, I was assaulted by two constables right here at City Hall on the steps, and uh, my constitutional rights were violated. The reason why I'm contacting you now is because I'm trying to get a copy of the findings, and the deputy chief has explained to me that the investigation has been completed, but they handed it over to the parish attorney's office and I should contact your office. Okay. You would have to submit a public records request? A FOIA request, sure. Yes, okay, that's done online. Have you ever done one online? No, I've never done one. Okay. But as, as, a, as a complainant of that report, why can't I just get the report? I'm, I'm the complainant. Shouldn't, shouldn't the internal affairs report be shared I mean, with the I complainant? I don't know if we actually have it. If it's turned over here, we do an um, investigation. I don't know, I'm not involved in that. Can you if get me somebody who would know? 
Thank you. Okay. Doesn't seem like Baton Rouge public servants want to help me very much. This is a process on how to do it. Um, once you get it in, I'll be happy to facilitate it. Okay. Our process. Um, there there is no it. process of me filling it out. It's only online? Online or you can mail it in. Or yeah. you can handwrite it here. And can I, can I get your name and your title? My name is Brooke. And your title? I'm here? just a secretary. Okay. I just do. Do you handle records. the you handle the public records yeah. request? I mean, um, I, I like process them. I don't say what can go and what can't or any of that. Okay. Yeah. I just Brooke, Just to be honest with you, there's a lot of public interest in this case, and I thought as a complaint I'd be able to just get the the file. And now there's probably going to be a lot of people doing public records requests, and I, I wanted to streamline it and make it easier so I could share it with the public. But I'm sure now the public is going to use their right to request the information for themselves. So, I mean. Just so you know, I'm not trying to make it harder on you, but that's just the way it is, fortunately. All right. Well, thank you, Brooke. Thank you. Yep. Have a great day. So this is the process on how to request the internal affairs report. I'll also leave it in the description in case you want to get your own copy. If you get it before me, that'd be great. Send it over, Gmail. But ridiculous. They should be able to give me the report today. You remember now, officer? Do you remember now? Remember what? How you violated my rights and assaulted me. Sure, I didn't take back me on the black one. Do you remember now? No, I don't remember anything, and I have no idea what you're speaking for. You have no idea? Do you have a twin brother? Uh, sir, do you have anything else? You no, know, I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm just questioning the man who assaulted me and violated my constitutional rights. Do you need some help? Yeah, I mean, my help that I need is for you to go to jail or be held accountable. I'm good right here, sir. No, you gonna step off. No, I'm not. You You're not going to assault me twice. I promise you that. I will defend myself. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sir, step off. You're not going to assault me mind. twice. Step off. Right now. If you don't need any help, step off. I can stand right here, sir. Yeah, I know. So you're, you're just quick to resort to violence, aren't you? Just quick to resort to violence. You would think you would at least apologize for assaulting me and violating my rights. No apology? None, officer? Williams, right? Officer Williams? That's what you said your name was? So I see it says special special ops on your shirt now, not internal affairs. Were you promoted because of because you assaulted me? Officer Williams? I mean, excuse me. I keep going back to that name you gave me originally. Officer Wright, that's your name. So, did you get promoted after you assaulted me, sir? Is that what happened? You don't want to talk about it? Do you invoke your right to remain silent? I'm trying to get some answers here. Why would you treat me that way and then... Sir, if I was you, I'd step off in front of me. Well, you're not me, so... Quit talking to me. You, you, you are not me, so... Good. Step off and quit talking to me. I'm good. Thank you. Good. I'm good. No. You just step off and I'm good. To me. I'm good. So did you get promoted or transferred or what happened? Do you know the findings of the internal affairs investigation, Officer Williams? Right. Go check with the lawyers upstairs. The lawyers upstairs? I did. They they said I have to do a FOIA request. Oh, were you were you cleared? Were you cleared? Talk to the lawyers upstairs. Were you cleared, Officer? Talk to the lawyers upstairs. Were you cleared of any wrongdoing? Did you got Did you handle the internal affairs investigation yourself? You were internal affairs, right? So did you investigate yourself and find you did nothing wrong? Sir, I suggest you quit stepping behind me. No, I don't, I don't need your suggestions. I, suggest you I don't need your suggestions. I don't need your suggestions. I don't. I don't. You're not going to do anything. Sir, did you investigate yourself and find you did no wrongdoing? Is your name Officer Williams or Wright? Because you told me Williams. 
and then on your shirt it says right. So which one is it? Constable? I'm trying to get some answers here. Why, why are you still working in the same building and for the same agency that you assaulted me? Where's the accountability? Where's the accountability for your actions, sir? Have you done this before? Have you assaulted people before? And gotten away with it? It sounds like that. I must really need money? No, I'm okay. I'm good. But I really need some accountability. So if you would just like to apologize, you know, maybe we can move on from this. You want to apologize for lying about your name, assaulting me, violating my constitutional rights? How come last time you threw me out the building so easily and now you're not going to do anything? What happened? What's the difference? Last time you were so quick to throw me down those stairs. What happened? You have nothing to say now? Cat got your tongue? You talked a whole lot back then when you bullied me and assaulted me. So nothing to say? I think I'm being more courteous than you than you deserve, to be honest with you. I think you're a tyrant. Your actions have proven that. So do you handle internal affairs investigations still? I know you were handling them, right, officer? Did you investigate yourself and find no wrongdoing? I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I came from New York, all the way from New York, to speak to you and to get some answers and accountability. And you just happened to be working in the same city hall, in the same spot you were. You must have a really good union. Officer. Are we going for a walk? Remember these stairs? Remember these doors? These are the doors that you pushed me out of, remember? And this is the stair where I rolled my ankle right here. You remember? You have anything to say for yourself? Do you have anything to say for yourself, officer? Officer, I'm talking to you. No apology, nothing? What if that happened to your daughter or son? What if you treated, what if somebody treated your daughter or son or your mother, anyone in your family or friends that way? What would you do? What would you do, sir? How would you respond? Would you want them held accountable? What if they were a law enforcement officer like yourself? and they violated their rights and assaulted them like you did to me, sir. Answer the question. What are you scared of? Something funny? Did you, did you, were you held accountable in any way after you investigated yourself, sir, in internal affairs? Were you held accountable in any way? We want to know, were you held accountable in any way? We the people want to know if you were held accountable, sir. Excuse me. Officer Williams, I mean Wright. Officer Wright. So you're just gonna run away? That's what you're gonna do, you're gonna run away? Okay, go ahead, run away. Run away to a restricted area. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm happy I got to 
confront the man who assaulted me. I wish the other constable was here because I would have done the same thing. No different. He used to be part of internal affairs. Now he's special ops, is what his shirt says. Special ops. Anyways, we've done what we can do. We are not giving up, that's for sure. We will be back. But for now, let's get out of here. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Baton Rouge City Hall here in Louisiana. So we weren't assaulted, and our constitutional rights weren't violated, but this was a poor showing for the Baton Rouge Constable's Office. Not only were they unprofessional, wouldn't answer my questions, completely ignored me and ran away from a member of the public. They are public servants. That is despicable behavior. When I finally got to speak to someone, the deputy chief, he was cordial and professional, but he didn't really help me either. He told me the internal affairs complaint was completed and that he handed it over to the parish attorney. Why wouldn't he have contacted me if it's the policy which I'm sure it is. He says it wasn't, but I'm sure it is. How do you file an internal affairs complaint and then not notify the complainant that it's been concluded and the findings? So now they have no record of this. So I had to go to the parish attorney to do a FOIA request in order to receive those documents, the internal affairs documents. It's obvious that the parish attorney did not pick up any criminal charges because the officer, Constable Wright, was inside the city hall so obviously he wasn't charged criminally and then he wants to play dumb and say he doesn't remember me he doesn't remember what happened of course he does he wasn't held accountable he was in internal affairs he probably literally investigated himself and found no wrongdoing but we are not done here ladies and gentlemen i promise you i will continue to return to baton rouge we will hold them accountable i haven't filed the federal lawsuit yet i'm still looking for an attorney that's brave enough in Baton Rouge to assist me with taking on this corrupt system. So if you know anyone, send it to my email, longislandaudit at gmail.com. I would really appreciate the help because we need to hold them accountable here. I was assaulted at the steps of City Hall. My constitutional rights violated. I had to go to an urgent care and the man is still sitting in his cushy chair at the front desk. And then he threatens me again. He threatens to assault me yet again. Refuses to apologize for his behavior wasn't held accountable by his own department, the constable's office. We need a new constable here in Baton Rouge. It's an elected official, we need a new constable because she's not doing her job. That man is still a constable, no repercussions whatsoever. The internal affairs report, I can't wait to read it. As soon as I get it, I'll be sharing it with all of you. But let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Stay tuned for further updates. I promise you this is not over. Stay safe, God bless, I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.